Hello, now we are going through the no more practice documents which will help you to prepare better for the test and also when you are doing projects live. Now the next document that we have in our uh, list is the document which talks about all those things which you should avoid on the no more platform.com. Okay, so click on this download link. This document actually introduces a long list of design mistakes that you should avoid in order to pass the PowerPoint test. Okay, now most of you who will be appearing the test should uh, know about these design mistakes so that you can avoid them while appearing the test and uh, you can pass the test much easily. What not to do on the no more platform? Now they have uh, talked about the cliche illustrations, pictures, effects, spacing, colors, elements and a small checklist of things and they've showed what all mistakes normally people do on all these aspects. Okay, now let's see how we can avoid them and do a better job on nomoreplatform.com. Avoiding basic mistakes will improve your chance of a higher rating. This presentation shows you different examples of what not to do when designing on the no more platform. Okay, it is a good idea to check your work against these errors before you submit. This will improve your chances of a high rating as well. Now, basic design principles are like hygiene. We have talked about the basic design principles, right? So those should be there in your mind when you are designing slides on no more platform. We might not notice when everything is as it should be, but the admins and the clients notice if something isn't right. So it is much more recommended that you go through the slides either on the design view or in the full screen display view and check for hygiene, check if everything is consistent, everything is looking fine on your design before you submit. The clients do not want us to use cliche and generic illustrations. Generic illustrations is a, are a big no-no on this platform. You need to have edited uh, the, the generic ones that you take from the internet and use those which are more specific and relevant to the content that you are creating. Clients pay us to create presentations that look stand out and look unique. Okay, unique presentations are required by the clients and clients pay us to do something they cannot do your, uh, themselves. Okay, if you are providing something very low quality and uh, wh which is very easy for anyone else to do it, then why should the client pay us, right? We should understand that. Then clients want their presentations to look up to date. Okay, you cannot use age old uh, design, uh, design aspects on your uh, slides and make them look very old okay clients are paying to make them look new and modern generic illustrations do not follow the client guidelines client guidelines may be different than what you find uh, on the internet so that there will be mismatch so ensure that the exact uh, things that you use or, or the exact elements that you use on your design should match the client guidelines these are the reasons why you should avoid cliche and generic illustrations on your slides. Now, don't use online pictures tool. Now, in PowerPoint, you'll see something like this, which says insert online picture. They have said never to use this because this uh, tool brings bad quality images. Okay, so we're not going to use any of these images that you can see on your screen right now. Don't use online picture tools as well. Like these pictures, these uh, bubble men are very common in, in many presentations you might have seen. Please do not use them in your presentation on no more platform. Then don't use illustrations or pictures with high number of contrast. Look at the number of colors that these pictures have, right? There are a lot of different colors and it's hard to focus on one particular thing. So please do not use these kind of illustrations where they have a lot of contrasting colors. Next is never stretch or shrink company logos. It's a very, very big mistake that many designers, many even tenured and uh, seasoned designers might, might make in their designs. 
okay so don't do any like this do not stretch or shrink the designs you can make them of different sizes but keeping the same aspect ratio the next is never stretch or shrink images the same goes with images as well do not stretch them crop images instead if you need okay don't stretch them all right next is do not use logos which you can't make transparent now in various slides on various slides you might need the logo to be transparent you do not need the back border okay so if you cannot make the logo transparent if, if you cannot remove the background on powerpoint please do not use that particular logo search for a png or a background or transparent background logo and use that on your designs okay all right do not delete important uh, client images products people buildings etc so the products are like this the icon is like this do not use this kind of things if you delete this thing you can see that the minor minute details are there in this picture and if you use these icons these details are lost so please do not delete any important image and uh, use the products or the icons that the client have client has given you already do not use low or too low contrast you can see here it's very hard to read the text right can you read what is written there you can't even see the lines that they, they have drawn so do not use too low contrast this is a very low contrast probably here we should have white and here we should have a uh, dark something black or grayish type okay so that kind of uh, mistakes should be avoided on your slides again don't cramp the slide instead use entire space as long as it stays within the slide frame now this is the slide frame that we talked about okay the invisible dotted lines red dotted lines now you can see that the entire content is cramped in the middle and there's a lot of space available on both sides so this should not be your designs you should make this content uh, you make use of the entire space and uh, spread the content so that it looks better and used up the entire content is used up all right next is do not steal the margin so you can see that there is a box and they uh, the, put the text or the content in between so but there is no margin here okay but if you leave a little bit of margin on all sides it looks much better so do like this do not steal the margin next point is do not place icons within shapes without having sufficient space between the icon and the outline of space okay so you can see on the pictures uh, here that uh, there is no space at all even if you know, there is some but it's not sufficient you should have the icon and the outer circle like this where we have your space okay that is one big mistake many people do no shapes or elements outside the slide frame so you can see here that the master frame we talked about the content has gone out of it that is a big no no we should not do this okay so all the content should fall in between this uh, yellow area which is the marked invisible marking is there right next is check client presentation for animations and keep it if there are some animations in the content and you are just doing a brush up keep that animation as it is do not change check if the presentation contains animation how will you check you can go to animations you can go open the animation pane and can see if there are some animations already there do not add or change animation effects without specific client instructions if you get a, an instruction from the client that uh, he needs to change the animation then you can do it otherwise no another important aspect is the 3d effects we do not need any 3d effects on our slides while working on nomoreplatform.com no 3d effects unless the client guideline states otherwise okay 3d effects should be avoided all right no shadow effects unless the client guideline states otherwise you can see there's a box shadow here okay shadow effects should be avoided unless it is mentioned in the guidelines all right no reflection effects again same thing with reflection effects you should only use it if they're in the guidelines avoid shape effects none of the shape effects should be used in your uh, designs they have a takeaway here which says in general you should not use shape effects unless the client guidelines states otherwise sometimes they will say okay i have a button wherever you use a button you use this uh, shadow or uh, some kind of glow 
only then you can use those otherwise do not use shape effects at all the next is do not use too many colors in one slide now we have seen earlier as well when we use too many colors the slide loses its focus i cannot focus on one particular thing okay so do not use a lot of uh, contrasting colors use the accents like this and this will look the slide this will make the uh, slide look much better okay the next one is do not use more than one contrast color it's the same thing that uh, similar thing that we have uh, seen earlier so if here all the segments or all the elements are colored differently where can i focus i cannot but if i have the same uh, structure of the content but i have only one contrasting color i can exactly focus on that particular thing okay so as i told earlier in a slide everything cannot be important Okay, if, if everything is important then nothing is so i should have only one or two things which are important and use contrasting colors to focus on those one or two things others should be having a similar color like this do not use too low contrast colors um, for text like here it's not even visible what is written there is white on white actually and this is like uh, uh, dark on dark this is also not visible properly so you can use dark on white and light on dark okay all right do not overuse the highlight color again you can see all these are highlighted and it's very um, i mean cumbersome to go through such a slide so use the highlight color only once or twice in your slide do not use smart art unless you ungroup the elements and customize now do not use the smart arts uh, as they are when you in, if you want to use uh, any particular part of the smart art then you can probably ungroup them and then use one part or remove the others okay and use only those which you want now do not rotate text vertical as it makes it more difficult to read so text vertical in the sense they may, uh, meant is uh, you should not have a text in a vertical way like this it is not easy to read always it should be in a horizontal manner like this which is easy to read for the clients as well the next is do not leave different spacing between figures so you can here you can see that the boxes or the rectangles are differently spaced here the space is more here the space is very less so this should not be the case it should be like this where it is justified or the vertical uh, distance or the vertical spacing is justified similarly you can see here from the title to this text here the the gap is small here the gap is long here it is little smaller but it's inconsistent right it's not same here if you see the gap between the title and this text is exactly same on all rows right so this should be your ideal way of designing next is do not use too many strong borders you can see all these borders are strong and it is uh, even if you just look at it it uh, strains the eyes right so you should have a combination of uh, very light borders and strong borders and only make those uh, th those shapes stronger where you need to focus on all right now here comes the checklist which is very important checklist for icons and images don't use the insert online pictures tool which you have just uh, seen sometime back don't use bubble main icons and uh, images no illustrations or pictures with a high number of contrasting colors should be used never stretch or shrink company logos images logos or images then don't use logos you can't make transparent or maybe some, some uh, tool can uh, you can use some tools other than powerpoint as well to remove the background but there is a wonderful feature in powerpoint itself where you can remove the background if those are not working don't use those logos or uh, company names okay now don't delete uh, important client images like products people buildings and all all the images should be there intact all the content should be there intact and uh, check that uh, you don't have too low contrast between text and images then the checklist for spacing use the entire space within the slide frame don't cramp your content don't steal the margin have proper margin all around your content this is very important don't uh, place icons within shapes without having sufficient space it's the same like having the margin then no shapes or elements outside the slide frame 
everything should be within the stack frame unless the client has specifically asked for one or two of those elements to be outside that element all right now this is a checklist for the effects do not add or change animation effect without specific client instructions then no 3d no shadow no reflection no bevel in, in one line you should not use any shape effects on your slides okay then checklist for colors do not use too many colors in one slide and only use one high contrast color so that you can manage the focus of your slide then do not use more than one contrast color we have seen this as well do not overuse the highlight color only use it on things or elements which you want to focus on next is checklist for figures don't use smart art smart art is a big no-no but again if you want some uh, particular element from the smart art you can ungroup it and then use that particular thing in your uh, slide don't rotate text the text should be only in horizontal way it is easiest to read do not use too many strong borders strong borders are again to be used only with elements on which we want to put our focus okay so i hope this list of all the uh, not to do things to don't uh, will help you in passing your exam and also do a better job with your life projects that was the last document that we have on the no more platform.com slash practice thanks a lot for your attention so far i'll see you in the next video